fans in the world today of Team SSG. I'm back with Madden 18. Just finished the season with Cincinnati Bengals where we went 14-2 in the regular season and went all the way to Super Bowl. We played against Philadelphia Eagles but after a slow start to the final we got that W and brought Cincinnati Bengals a Super Bowl. It was fun, I enjoyed it a lot, it was difficult, uh, I threw a lot of interceptions, but my defense, man, those guys were crazy. A lot of sacks, a lot of interceptions, and a lot of fumbles, and my offense with uh, AJ Green and LaFell were really good, and Bernard as a running back did a great job as well, uh, but me as a quarterback still getting a hang of this game through a lot of interception not sure how how many stats how his Andy Dalton stats was but I threw a lot of interception but I enjoyed the game a lot so I wanted to do another Madden 18 season uh, as you can see it's a team in NFC West it's not San Francisco 49ers it is not Los Angeles Rams but it is Arizona Cardinals Bruce we're gonna lead the team all the way to Super Bowl. The preseason is over. Let the regular season begin. Tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. It's a fresh start throughout the league here in week one as these two teams have high hopes for the season ahead. It's the Cardinals going up against the Lions. The opening kick of the new season is straight ahead as we turn it over to our broadcast duo of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, first open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Arizona Cardinals. And welcome in everyone, Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. These two teams, Arizona and Detroit, you know, if you were asked prior to last season which of the two would make the playoffs, probably would have said Arizona, but it was the Lions at 9-7 and seven who made it, and the Cards at 7-8-1. Well, here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the ninth-year man out of Georgia, their quarterback, and that's Matthew Stafford. Overtime, the most bad quarterback in a single season in the Super Bowl era. In fact, one Detroit newspaper put the odds of all those comebacks occurring at 8.65. Here's Stafford now on second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Throwing on third down. Stafford. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Team in position to start this drive as they take over first and ten. So out come the Cardinals and their offense in great starting field position. And his 15th year now from U field game, throwing it to the big time receivers. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he'll get it down on the plate. 17, I wonder how disappointing he was in the 2016 season. Well, do you think that that's a reason that he's back? I think that maybe he feels like there's one more. Third and two. Now Palmer. And he finds Barnage. He's got it. And he gets the... That year, 2014, yep. got let go by Cleveland. Recently, Irish Media welcoming David and Joku to Cleveland. And the Browns let him go the next day. Caught. Left side, it's Barnage. Dense partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Gary Barnage, a seven-yard touchdown grab. Without a playoff victory. In the midst of that eight of nine win string, they had three straight home games that all came down to the final series. Two linebackers and a secondary player. I think the key guy out of that might be Tease Tabor, the cornerback they took out of Florida. They've got to slow down some of the... On first down, Stafford here. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. Riddick with a carry. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 40, spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had a finishing with the number nine overall offense, the number two overall defense, but they did not make the playoffs. That just tells you that sometimes statistics don't tell the total tale. Reddick, a linebacker out of Temple, is their first-round draft pick. Buda Baker, a safety out of Washington, trying to 
to shore up the defensive side. Get to protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you just... A first down carry here for Johnson. 15 more there. From the gun, it's Palmer. Flush to his right. Defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he... And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David... Yeah, jumped too quickly. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And a second. Everything clear. It is. And I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways. All right. You don't have to be his height to make a great. And they find each other for the completion. Palmer will throw. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. Arrow. Now a first down throw. Stafford. Caught on the right. Just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the earth the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no yeah. yardage. Okay. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And brought down. One catches in 2016, battling an ankle. Yeah, the surprise, though, just one of those 61 hit pay dirt. Is. Again, it's Stafford. Open is Tate. Touchdown, Lions. Golden Tate. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. Oh, a nice spin. And he'll be taken down, but not before. And Palmer gives to Johnson. And he'll get it down on the plate. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season, we get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Cardinals, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll have another road date next week with the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Lions... They obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard work.